All right, so what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to do dihybrid crosses. Now, this is in biology. Uh, this is not going to go over the basics of Punnett squares or alleles and stuff, although maybe I'll say it uh, very briefly. But, you know, there's the basic Punnett squares, and then this makes it a bit more complicated because instead of going for uh, one characteristic, it's actually two characteristics. So, um, you know, you've got... Uh, this whole four allele thing going and this can be a bit difficult so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some of these problems and basically I'm gonna show you how to do these um, now you can see we're gonna start out with question 14 it says in cocker spaniels black coat color B is dominant big B is dominant over red little b and solid color S is dominant over spotted lowercase s if two dihybrids hybrids B B S S big B little b big S, little s were crossed, the most common phenotype would be. And so what we're going to do here is, uh, you know, typically you'll see, or sometimes you'll see, I don't know how frequent this is, you'll see the big ass chart that's like 16 slots. Uh, we're not going to do that because that is, uh, that is just way too much. Um, and it's uh, actually not really, in my opinion, the most, uh, the easiest way to do it. Um, so what you've got going on here is you've got two dihybrid uh, crosses here, or two dihybrids that are being crossed. You've got big B, um, little b. Um, sorry, here, I have to put that down here. You've got big B, uh, little b, and you've got big S, little s. So there's two of these, right? There's two of these, and you're crossing them. So the way to actually do this is, I mean, these are really what you've got. Uh, what you want to do is you actually want to uh, cross these, but in this fashion. And so what you want to do is you want to cross the B's and you want to cross the S's uh, separately. So this way you're just doing it for the one characteristic rather than the huge chart. And essentially what you get here when you do this Punnett square, of course, uh, you've got the two heterozygous uh, B's here, uh, people who are heterozygous for the uh, coat color. And then you want to cross the S's. Uh, so this will give you obviously the results um, I should make this more clear this is the big S sorry it can get kind of tricky um, big S big S big S little s so you've got the uh, crosses of two dihybrids here who are both heterozygotes and so when it says you know what is the most common phenotype um, you can look at both boxes and see what's most common and so what you can see here is big B little b um, is the most, uh, you know, well, it's phenotype, actually. It's not even genotype. So phenotype, obviously, is the physical characteristic, whether or not it's black or red. Genotype would be, you know, whether it's big B, little B, or big B, big B. But, you know, we have uh, on both of them, obviously, they're both heterozygotes. So you're going to get the same result. Three out of four are actually black. Uh, black color here is what you can see. Um, and so what that means is you've got three out of four here. Um, and then over here, what you've got is obviously the same thing, right? So three out of four here are also um, uh, solid. So what you've got is the answer will be black and solid. That will be the answer. And as you can see, uh, this is the correct answer here is black and solid because you just crossed it. And then you got to see, okay, you know, what is exactly uh, the result there? <clears throat> Um, so I did just kind of show you the answer there, but I, did, I didn't mean to do that. So what this says here is, um, in Conquer Spaniels, uh, black color, coat color, big B is dominant over red, little b, and solid color, big S is dominant over spotted, little s. Two hybrids uh, over cross what fraction of the offspring would be expected to be red and spotted. Um, so actually we, we already uh, did that, but I guess I'll have to uh, do it again because... I already erased it. I could try to bring it up, but I don't think it's worth it at this point. Um, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be these results. Uh, just quickly cross these. Um, let's see here. Big S, big S, big S, little s. You know, you get the same results on both sides. And so what you can see here, obviously, based on the genotypes here, you can interpret what the uh, phenotype is. So this is what fraction of the offspring would expect to be red and spotted. And so this is something also you can do without the big, big ass chart. And so what you do is you look at each side, right? So because you've basically crossed the same uh, alleles, um, you know, B and B and S and S separately, it says, you know, what fraction of the offspring would be expected to be red? Uh, this right here is one fourth, and on the other side it says spotted. So spotted is the little s. So that's also one fourth. 
So you just take this, you multiply it, you get 1 16th. That is how you get 1 16th, and as you can see, that is the correct answer down here. Um, let's see here, the next question, uh, it actually says, in Cocker Spaniels, black coat color Big B is dominant over red little B, and solid color S is dominant over spotted S. In the F2 generation of a cross between Big B, Big B, Little S, Little S with Little B, Little B, Big S, Big S, what fraction of the offspring would be expected to be black and spotted? Hence, how is the F2 generation produced? So this is where it gets a little more tricky because you're not even talking anymore um, about the offspring of the cross between BBSS and BBSS. You're talking about uh, you know, what fraction of the offspring of their offspring is going to be uh, you know, black and spotted because the F1 generation of these will be the result of their cross. So you have to do, uh, essentially you have to do this, uh, double cross is what you have to do. So, uh, what that means is you've got big B, big B. And again, you're going to have to remember just to do the same alleles. So big B, big B, little B, little B, uh, big B, little B, Obviously, uh, all of these are going to be heterozygotes because you've got a homozygous and a, a homozygous dominant, homozygous recessive. So it's all going to be uh, heterozygous, of course. Um, and then you have the big S, big S, little s, little s. Same thing over here. Anytime you have homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive, it's all going to be heterozygous. Um, so what you've got here is... Uh, you know, if there were multiple uh, genotypes here, how the fuck would you know which one to choose? So <laughs> the reason why this question is doable with the information we have is because there's only one option, <laughs> and that's big V, little V, and big S, little S. So this is the result of the F1 generation. This is the cross between what we just did, the big B, big V, little S, little S, and small B, small B, big S, big S. Um, but then you have to cross these. So now you have to cross um, big B, little B, by big B, little b. So uh, this is going to give you a bit of a scattered result, actually. A bit of a more scattered result is what you are going to get. Um, and then you're going to have to cross big S, little s, and big S, little s. So a uh, bit, again, same types of results on both sides, of course. And so what the question is now asking us is, what fraction of the offspring would be expected to be black and spotted? So if we're talking about black, um, it's actually three-fourths. As you can see, this is three-fourths um, because the dominance is for black, and there's three out of four is dominant there. And then when it comes to uh, the spotted, this is one-fourth because the spotted is the uh, recessive. So you take three-fourths and one-fourth, and you multiply, and what you get is three-sixteenths. And that's how you get the answer. So when it says, what is the F2 generation going to be? You know, uh, that means you have to do the cross and then another cross of the offspring. And so you can see 3 sixteenths is indeed uh, the correct answer there. Um, I really don't want to uh, make this actually go on too long, but I guess we'll do one last one here. Um, this one here says, uh, in Cocker Spaniels, black coat color is dominant over red and solid. Uh, if BBSS were crossed with BBSS, the chance that a black solid individual would be produced is. And so all we got to do, of course, is uh, take B, big B, little b, and big B, little b, cross them again. Uh, cross them again. We already obviously know um, what these results are going to be. Uh, I've actually done this before. Um, and so those are the results of this one. Then you should need to cross. Big S, little s, with little s, little s. Oh, shoot, can you actually, can you even see this? Okay. Uh, you can't see the cutoff there of big B, little b. And um, what you're crossing is big S, little s, small s, small s. So that's that's a little bit different there. Um, so you're going to get actually a 50-50 split here. Um, these two are going to be recessive. These two are going to be dominant. So what exactly is the question asking us? the chance that a black solid individual will be produced. So black means it has to be dominant, okay? And so what fraction of this is dominant? It's 3 fourths. And what is solid? Solid is also dominant. So you've got only 2 fourths or 1 half there. You know, you can do either one. I mean, it's multiplication, so it doesn't matter. 
I'm just going to do this. So it's 6 over 16. Obviously, to, you want to simplify the fraction always. So you get 3 eighths. That is your answer there because uh, that's all you had to do. So that's going to be the last question for this. Hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, yeah, this is how you do dihybrid crosses and in a different way than what it may be considered typical.